Hello, this is Sam the All Man playing games and today I'm playing Magic the Gathering on mobile. I've been waiting for this. This is the tutorial. I did the first part of the tutorial and all my sign up stuff. Let's keep going with this tutorial. Um, yeah, so excited. So excited to have Magic the Gathering on mobile. I played this uh, in high school. Um, yeah, so, so excited. Okay, so they what do they do? Okay. Okay, still going. Yes, first blood. Don't worry. These things are basically harmless. Yeah, so basically that blue dot is the tutorial um advisor. Uh, and you can click on a card. Okay, click on the opponent's card. You can click and hold and it shows you their card. So haste. Creature with haste can attack and tap as soon as it comes under your control. That's right. It's I, I forget a lot of the game. I haven't really played it since school. I've tried I tried a couple times. But anyway, uh, let's keep going. This planes card. And opponent has another haste card. Another haste card, so three haste. Maybe worry just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, just a little bit of worry. That's uh, starting to be a decent amount of attack. But I mean, it's the tutorial, so there's going to be a way for me to come back. You need to mount a defense. Yeah, no uh, surprise. So. If you're not familiar with Magic the Gathering, you need, you need to play land for mana. Now that I have two lands, I can uh, summon a two creature. I think they're both the same here. Um, yeah, they're both the same. Shrine Keeper. It's just 2-2. Two, two. So let's go ahead and put that out. 2-2, two, two, and I can defend with that next turn. Not more haste goblins. To block, touch one of your creatures and then touch the attacking creature. Confirm your blocks by touching the button. Makes sense. And the little thing in the bottom right showing you what phase the game is in or the turn is in. Oof, 3 3. Creatures heal all damage at the end of turns? What? Since when did that happen? Since when did Creat- uh... No, that's right. Creatures always healed everything at the end of the turn. That, of course. Is that right? I don't, I don't remember. It must be, must be right. One, two, you can play one land each turn. So, three land. Which means I can play all my creatures. So, two, two. And I can play this one, two. Don't attack if an opponent can block with a bigger creature. Otherwise, it could die. Well, sometimes that's the strategy, but yeah, okay, I won't, in this particular case, I won't attack. Um, Everybody but me. <laughs> Everybody but me. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Okay, blocks. To block, touch one of your creatures and touch an attacking creature. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and kill the big creature. There we go, that should kill it. And one of the little ones can go down too, and I'll take one damage. I'm good with that. Let's see how this plays out. Yeah! Blah. Cool had some red showing like the the health what it is at the moment, but that it will go up when it turns over. Well that was an interesting move. He attacked me. 
Um, we've got some lands. May as well attack. And attack. Two attackers. Boom. This is my first damage. Finally getting some in you. Yeah, okay. Interesting, interesting. I can't wait to do PvP. Well, that was definitely an army of, expose of, of minions there. What's this one here? When Spirit Guardian enters battlefield, gain full life. Well, that's nice. And was it? 3-4. Cool. That's good. I can attack with it. Um, and it can kill everything. Let's get some more mana out there. And bring that into play. Very nice. Well, I mean, he's going to. That's pretty obvious. Um, hmm, tough decision now. No, not tough decision. I'm going to attack with my 2 2. And hold on, is he tapped? Is he fully tapped out? He is fully tapped out. Oh, if I attack, I can't defend. I might keep them all then for defense. Go no attacks. See how this plays out. Could have been silly. I mean, sometimes you gotta just chip away at those little creatures. Alright, he's attacking with everything. No surprise. So my 3 4 against the 2 2. And then the 2 2. And then the 1 2. And now all his creatures are dead. Block. Boom! <laughs> uh, they've done a good job with the voices. Whoa! 7-3! Uh, yeah, this is gonna hurt. Okay, well, let's let's have a quick look. So it goes pretty fast there. When Ogre Painbringer enters the battlefield, it deals 3 damage to each player. Interesting. And what's my card here? When Spirit Guardian gained 4 life, cool, and it's another 3-4. So, well, obviously I'm going to play it. Very nice. And I'm going to attack with... Just going to attack with my 3-4, because if... Oh, yeah, oh, no. No, I want to keep my 3-4. I'm going to attack with my two little ones. He, his... Oh. Is it, is it tapped out? I think it's tapped out. Uh, I'm, I'm very confused. Can he block? I guess we're going to find out if he can block with it or not. I think, But I don't think he can. can. It looks like it's tapped out. Let's see what happens. No, he can block with it because it wasn't actually tapped. So now I know. Now I know. Now you know. That's why I play. Alright, so 7-3 and I'm blocking with my 3-4. Uh, that should theoretically kill it. Let's see what happens. Boom! No, I think we're good. I think we're good. What have we got now? Destroy tapped target creature. Well, I don't need to play that. Nothing's tapped. So... Um... Next. Now's my attack phase. Go ahead and attack with both of them. Two attackers. Boom. He's got two health left. And I uh, should be able to take him down next turn. See what he plays. 1-1 one, one with haste. So no surprise there. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not surprised. Uh-oh. Yep, that pretty much sums it up. Alright, what have we got? 2-2 two, two and destroy taps creature. I mean, uh, I don't need to destroy a 1-1. One, one. Let's go throw out my 2-2 two, two and I'll, I'm 1. He can't block it. So, next is the attack phase. Both of those. Whoops, 1-2. A little bit of a delay between when I press my finger on it and... Yes, the pokey bits. Watch out for the pokey bits. Nice victory. I think we've got uh, 
three more parts of the tutorial. Okay, I've unlocked cards. You're a quick learner, so let's try a more challenging lesson. Follow me to Ixalan. There's a mystic there who spent his life studying the nuances of combat. I think you have to play through the tutorial, I'm not really sure. Just to unlock cards. There's me, there's Kalubi. Cool, but very good art. I mean, Magic Gathering is definitely known for its art. Flying can only be bought. Fly freely, unfettered by earthly bonds. Yes. Can only be blocked by other flying creatures. So what have I got here? The spirit. Um, it's not flying, I don't believe. Now, let me just have a quick look at the flying. Um, okay, it, it actually says flying on it. Interesting. And this, the card series is alpha. Is that like alpha test? Because we're in alpha. I don't, I'm super confused. Like, I don't know I, enough about the game. It's been. I just used to play it for fun. I was never even to. I was never like a ginormous magic nerd, but if you know what I mean. But uh, I traded a lot of cards and I actually traded and sold. You must understand the air, land, and sea. Chant a creature gets plus one, plus one. Ooh. That's going to be hard to, to block. That bird can fly over any blockers on the ground. And I can't defend it. Nothing I can do. Uh, so what was I saying? Yeah, I, I traded cards and sold cards. And that's how I paid for my entertainment during uh, my late school years. So it was pretty good fun. What can I play here? Chanted creature gets plus two, plus two. Okay. May as well play it. Um, yep. Yeah. Chant that creature. It's interesting that you can actually enchant your opponent. You've been paying attention. I have been paying attention. So we're going to attack with it, because why not? Boom. Now, if he attacks me, then I attack him again. So he needs to... Okay, interesting. Zero, four. Block your path, but do not lose sight of your true goal. Is that crab a potentate? Uh, let's go have a quick look. It is a crab wearing a skull with a pirate hat. That's actually pretty good. Um, yeah. Good art. Good art. That is what the game is known for. So, we're going to play some more land. I cannot wait to get the cards to start building my own decks in this game. 3-2 attack. Um, elephant soldier. And that's 3-4 for later. For next turn, I believe. I guess we'll play my 3-2. Is there any point in attacking? Not really. No. Because, oh, no, he'll just block it with his 0 4, so no attacks, no point. What's he gonna play this turn? He's slowly getting me with his flying creature. Alright, um, we're gonna have to read that. Enchant creature. When we not. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. Interesting. Alright, enchant creature. When water knot enters the battlefield, tap enchanted creature. Enchanted creature doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. So basically, you permanently tap the creature, which makes sense. Alright, that's I'm fine, that's that's cool. Go ahead and play another land. How do I know he's running his deck's running out? Like 
He has one card left. What about me? I have apparently 31 cards left. Well, that means he's going to lose. So enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two. I will take that. Obviously not my tapped creature. Five, six, and it will go ahead and attack. Boom, five attack damage. Boom, and he's blocking it. But I killed his block, so I'm good with that. Totally good with that. Okay. Wow, that sounds deep. <laughs> it's funny, the tutorial's comments are basically my comments. Ooh, he drew, drew two cards. Oh, I get it, that's his hand. Ah, oh. zero four, so he can block me again. Well, I got more land. And now I can play my three, four, give myself four life. Which I needed. So I shall go ahead. And attack again, which I bet he'll block. But again, chipping away at his creatures. Chip, chip, chip. Boom. And next turn I'll have two creatures to attack with. So we'll see how that turns out. What's he going to play? Um, a 4-6. Oof. Ouch. Ouch, that hurts. Enchanted creature gets plus three plus three and has flying. So that's cool. Finally, I have a flying creature. Um, question is which one? My five, six, or I think I might put it on my other three, four. It should make it six, um, seven. So, and flying, so that that works. I'm I'm good with that. Let's go ahead and play that. Put it on my other three four creature. Six seven with flying. And I will go. I, I don't want to. I don't want to do anything this turn. Is that right? Yeah. No point in doing anything this turn. No attacks. Attack with your flying creature, your what's it say? Your opponent can't block it. Okay, I wanted to use it to like block his attacks, but uh, all right. Guess I attack. But actually, now that I have a flying creature, he might not attack me with his flying creature, so that he can block my flying creature next time. No. Nope. Okay, fine, whatever. If I don't block, I'm going to take four, five, six damage, um, which is fine. I'm, I'm good with that. No blocks. There we go. Got three health left. No, I totally get it. Oh, another 4-6 creature. And what have I got here? Plus two. Alright, plus two, plus two. He's got six. Let's go ahead and put it on that one there. And seven, eight, six, seven. Let's go ahead and attack with both of them, and we've got the win. Boom! Can uh, he was stupid for attacking with this blind creature because he's fun while it lasted. Yeah. Anyway, that's the tutorial. We're learning the game. Um, I'm familiar with everything that we've done so far. I like it. I. I I think it works pretty well. I think they've, they've done a good job at uh, turning Magic Gathering uh, into a mobile game. The cards like that are like, a bit hard to see. You've got to press to make it bigger. But uh, at this point, the unlock cards don't really mean anything. Ten unlock cards. You're almost ready to take on anyone, including 
whoever roughed you up in the first place. For your last lesson, let's head to Tarkir to learn the art of surprise. Oh, get your key. We're gonna go to Tarkir. Two, two more sections left, and then hopefully that's a tutorial, and then we can get into actually playing. Sam the Oil Man. Dragon Head Shadow. Opponent has spells that can be cast on my turn. That's right, instance, oh, I believe. What pretty little thing has wandered into my web. Oh, not spider cards. Black. I like the black decks. Um, there's planes. Swamp. Swamp is a black deck. And oh, we can play a card. I can play cats. One, two. May as well do it. That sounded more like a cow than a cat. Go on, attack me. All right, let's, there's another planes, and we can do a two-two and a two-two. May as well do a two-two. All right, uh, it's part of the tutorial. We're gonna have to attack. See what happens. Waiting two or less power. Which one? Cool. I'd rather take out the one two cat than the two two. Your move. It is my move. All right, planes. Play another planes. And we get another human cleric. Alright, go ahead and attack. Let's see what she does this time. Flash. They can be cast at any time, so obviously 2 1 is going to block my 2 2. Yep, got that right. Boom. At least. No cards on their side still. Alright, play some land. And what have we got? Enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two. May as well, right? May as well. There we go. And I almost don't want to attack. Let's see what happens if I hit do no attacks. Yeah, no, I need to. It's making me it's a tutorial. I can't be smart. I ha, it's all right. Two one. Um. Okay, he's blocked, or she's blocked successfully. Whoa. Okay. As an additional cost to cast a spell, sacrifice a creature, draw two cards. Yeah, um, but because the block was assigned, uh, my attack doesn't go through. Alright, what's the opponent going to do? Whoa! You've drawn an instant, cool. Now let's have a quick look at this card. Um, when Soul Hunter Rashka can't block. Okay, can't block, it's interesting. When it enters battlefield, it casts it from your hand. It deals one damage to your target opponent for each swamp you control. Ah, and he controls five swamps, and that's how I took so much damage. That hurts. Alright, what's my instant? Target blocking or blocked creature you control gets plus two plus two to under turn. Cool, we'll play the land. So I don't want to attack. You can't afford to take another hit like that. Yeah, no no of course I can't. No attacks. Oh 
Obviously, they're going to attack with it. Alright, so we do the, assign the block. Um, and that's where we're blocking. And then now do we play cards? Yeah. There we go. Plus two, plus two. And boom! Nice! 6-6! Six, six. Kill his creature! Yeah, it was a nice one. What do I have? Blocking or blocked creature. I get to do it again. Um, I feel like I probably don't want to attack. Let's see, is it going to make me? All attack button. Uh, it made me attack. Okay, sacrificing to Oh, okay, I'm dead. Two creatures sacrificed. This is why I didn't want to attack. Now, can I actually play it? Hold on. Target blocking or blocked. Ah, my creature is blocked, so maybe I can play it. Let's see. Ah, okay. Ah, that's lucky for me. So, phew, I don't die. Lucky, lucky me. Yes, you can. What's happening next? I've got nothing, really. I'm at your mercy. Feel like that's not actually the case. Cast this spell only if a creature is attacking you. Create three one one white spirit creature tokens with flying. Cool. But only uh, if a creature is attacking me. So okay. So next, all right, all attack, go for attack, in, and, oh, yep, finally got four damage in, that's nice. Well, looks like you've let your guard down. Got a feeling something's coming. Well, that's convenient, three cards, and I've got you're going to get three flying tokens. Now it's my turn. Hurry, make some blockers. There we go. Play the... Confront the Assault. And block. And block. There we go, block. Should be an auto block button, uh, maybe? No. Now Chanty creature has plus three, plus three, and flying. So that's cool. Let's go ahead and enchant my creature then. There we go. And probably they can't attack. I'm um, sorry, I can attack, they can't defend because it's flying. And oh, tutorial over. Instants have been taught. Okay, nice victory there. New unlocked cards. Nice job. That was some quick thinking. When we first met, you looked within an inch of your life. But now you're unstoppable. Who were you fighting in the first place, anyway? <laughs> Somehow I think I'll be okay. Nicole Bolas. Alright. Like as if your life 
life depended on it. I've got a feeling the whole game depends on it because if you lose, you can never get out of the game and or progress. I don't know. But again, it's rigged in my favor. Discard a plane's card by clicking one in your hand. So let's click. Okay, let's see what the card does. When Mimic Mummy enters the battlefield, each player discards a card. Oh, okay. Well, question is what one do I want to discard? Um, I've got one I probably can get rid of an actual just planes. Yeah, that should be fine. Submit. Discarded. Did he just throw away a dragon? Target blocking or block creature you control is plus two plus two. Um, and a two two creature, cool. Let's get my two two creature out. Now all my mana's tapped so I can't use my instant. Is he going to attack or not? Ah, oh, destroyed. good start there. Maybe I shouldn't have got rid of the planes. Maybe I should have got rid of the tactical advantage. But anyway, 3-2 creature. All my mana's tapped again. Okay, he's got islands. Draw three cards, you lose three life. Yeah, he's got island, fire, and swamps. Interesting. Okay, I've got four planes cards now. And this time I can do my plus two, plus two, and take him out if I so wanted to. Do I want to? What else am I going to do, right? What else am I going to do? All right. Let's go ahead and attack. I attack. Okay, it's blocked. Now I can play my instant card. Play it on that so that I don't die. Boom! His creature is dead. Mine is not. I will let nothing stand in the way of what I seek. Not even death. Okay, sometimes you just gotta chip away. Put target creature card from a graveyard into the battlefield under your control. Um, it's a zombie. Oof. Oof. Nothing I can do about that. 4-4. Four, four. Ouch. The ouch. Fortunately, I got another planes card. So that I can play 3-4. Um, and gain 4 life. There we go. But his 4-4 four, four creature will get me. So I may as well attack him. Because... Uh, I can't block with him because he'll die, so I'll just attack. Opponent's turn. What's he got up his sleeve? Okay, when he casts the next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy the spell. Deals two. Yep. Okay. Again, very hard and fast to read what what's happening. Two damage to each creature without flying. Whoa. So he dealt four damage to all my non-flying creatures, which was all of them. So that was that was a bit rough. But I can play this creature now. Whenever another creature with power two or less enters the battlefield under my control, gain one life, draw a card. Cool. I mean, I'll take it. Hopefully I get lots of low life creatures then I can just use this fodder to block. I mean that's really my only hope at this point. Target player draws seven cards. 
Well. Yep, 2-2. Two, two. Just what I thought. Gain a life. Oh, do I draw a card too? And draw a card. Well, that's convenient. And what did I draw? It's another 2-2 two, two creature. Alright. Cool. <laughs> draw another card. I like this. Destroy target tapped creature. Oh, yes. Perfect. Destroyed. Burn. That's how we do it. Well, I don't want to risk this card. I feel like the inspiring command is too good and one damage isn't going to do anything for me. So, no attacks. Alright, what's the opponent going to do? Six, six. Ah. Oh. Well, that sucked. What have I got? Cast this spell only if a creature is attacking you. Create one one spirit. Three one one spirits with flying. Okay. Uh, next. So obviously, when he attacks me, Hold I'm. Back. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea to me. And then all those creatures entering should give me life. Oof. 4-4 four, four with haste. Oof. Alright, well i got no choice. Let's uh, go ahead and play that. Alright. Yes, three new cards. One. Two, three, excellent. Now, how I'm gonna block? So I can't kill anyone, so I might as well just um, one and this one here to that one there. There we go. That blocks. Uh, confirm your blocks by touching the button below. Yeah, because I can't. I can't kill him. Block. But they're fodder just, just to like block and take damage. Uh, Alright, what have I got? What are my cards? Target blocking or blocked creature you control gets plus two, plus two until under ten. Well, I wish I had the opportunity to actually see that because I would have blocked with my 1 1 as well, given one of them plus two, plus two, and taken it out. But I haven't done that. I can't go back. So it, that's unfortunate for me. Maybe for another turn. Alright, what have I got? Two creature gets plus one, plus two, plus two until end of turn. So that's nice. And it's just a one, two. Well, play the planes. And play the cat. One, two. And what's this one? Four, four, oof, okay. How much mana? Five, six, three, four, five, um, four, four, and give it plus two, plus two. I could take out his six, six creature. Oof, this is tempting. That's pretty tempting. Let me have a quick look at his creatures. Um, there we go, flying in haste, four, four. I need to take out his flying one with my flying one before it dies, so... Uh, hold on, is this flying? 4-4 four, four with flying and as well. Oh, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? I think I... I think I play it, I think I play it. 4-4. Four, four. I, can, I can't see what that is because my cards are in the way. So can I click on the click and hold? Vil vil vigilance. Attacking doesn't cause the creature to attack. Well, that's cool. Um, do I want to attack with any of them? No. No, because then they'll tap. So no. 
No attacks. Let's see what happens. Interest, very interesting to see how this plays out. Oh, that's a little unfortunate. I like that card. Oh, he's bringing in some big ones. Alright, so how am I going to do this here? So, let's just check my hand. I, have, I can play one of them, so target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Which I might do on my flying with vigilance so I can attack and uh, and he can't do anything about it so let's go ahead and block his flying creature and I might go ahead and use my little cannon fodder 1-1 one, one flying here as well just to block that ginormous dragon choose your blockers but keep your angel alive yep so let's go ahead and block Yep, and then we're going to go ahead and use that. Two twos on. Yep, there we go. On that, six six. So his creature died. His four four flying creature died. Alright, what have I got? Enchant creature. Plus three, plus three, and has flying. That's an interesting move now. So I could give my cat plus three, plus three, which would make it a four, five. And then um, I can use it to block um, when he attacks with the Chaos Maw next turn. What is it? One, five, and five, three. So let's go. This is this is really tough decisions. All right, let's go ahead and play it. Um, you, you know, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and play it on. No, I will. I will play it on the cat. Five. Yeah, I'll go ahead and play it on the cat. This could have been a mistake, but that's that's where I'm going with now. And I want to attack with my one with Vigilance. And go ahead and attack. All right, boo. See how that plays out. Home my stage. is wearing thin. Let's finish it. What is he going to do? Okay, he's attacking with everything. Well, that's super interesting. My 4-4 four, four is going to block his 1-5. And my 4-5 is going to block his 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, I think, I think that's... Let's see how this works. Then, yep, play our card. Um, and we're going to give our 4, 5, plus 2, plus 2 to take out his 6, 6. Keeps me in the game at the very minimum. So I take 5 damage. It's a pretty significant chunk there. But I'm in the game. What did I get? Game 4 life. Excellent. Excellent. So let's go ahead and play that. 3, 4. Gain some life. That's good. And then I want to play my 4-4 four, four as going to attack because it's got Vigilance and he can't block it. Boom! And let's see what happens next. Okay. So that 5-3 is pretty dangerous. Um... This is interesting. My 4-4 four, four with Vigilance. I do not want that dead. So it's going to block the 1-5. And I'm, I'm 
Now, is that an order, or does he get to choose how the damage is played? Anyway, I want his 5-3 dead, so I'm going to block it with both of them, and then we'll just sort of see how this plays out. Um, where the damage goes. Is it going to go all on my 4-5? It looks that way, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly how it played out. All right. I can go with that. Just some land. Not the end of the world. And, uh, I, oh, I can win. I can just attack with everything now. There we go. Two attackers. Boom! Got the win! That worked well for me. That's Magic the Gathering. I love it. I love it. So excited for this game. Magic the Gathering on mobile absolutely love it well my recordings about to cut out I can only record for 45 minutes so thank you so much for watching and there's our decks we can play the game in any one of our five things that is cool that is cool so to start, we're going to be using pre-made decks, but then as we get experience, play more, we get more cards, and then we can make some cool decks of our own. Super, super duper excited. Oh, yeah. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. That was the tutorial. Can't wait for the next Magic uh, episode where I get to like play with some of those decks. See you later.